from this picture, what can we know? About? About? What do we know about what version? On the, uh, on the picture, this road is uh, mobile, automobile foot road. Yes. But in the below of the picture, it is for pedestrian. Pedestrian first zones. So, on the up of the, of the picture, the road is uh, used for car. But this road is more for pedestrian. Mm -hmm. So, the pavement and the car is different, are different. The pavement and the color of the road is different, but on for the pedestrian roads, we build with bricks. It's red, but on this is asphalt pavement. But the different. We can use this to to make different pavement to different for different. Uh, Traffic farming measures, farming measures. Horizontal features for transition to low speed resilience road area. We build on this to reduce the speed when, when car go to the resilient areas. To reduce the, task, the speed of of car. Horizontal features for pedestrian refuge and speed reduction and cost work. This is for pedestrian refuge. The future island. When the per the mainstream what on the refuge island we can stop to make the car pass. Vertical feature for pedestrian crossing and speed reduction and cross walk. We can make these heavy army measures. Info informational signal coordinated with vertical features for traffic army. We build this informational signal like this, the maximum such traffic calming zones for information to coordinate these vertical features for traffic calming. The wires included in the right way of way may be significantly larger than the wires of the channel names to incorporate accurate genetic features. Allow for future expansion of roadway capacity and to provide enough natural distance alongside 
there is no way for errant drivers to regain control of the vehicles. So this is the widest, larger, the widest of the camera lanes. Two, one is incorporate accurate framing features and for future expansion of roadway capacity. Just like the way we use the wider media. It's one way to for future expansion of roadway capacity. And to provide enough natural distance to allow alongside the way for event drivers to regain control of the vehicles. This picture is show that typical cross sections for section for two lane undivided roadway with paved shoulder shoulders with fifty five and get posted speed limit. The kind of that. The name, the miles of name is twelve. Twelve feet. The two names. Shoulders. Human shoulders is five feet. And the road, the right of way of the road is minimum is sixty feet. On this, this. There's a typical cost section for two lane undivided roadways with paved shoulders and side walkers with 25 to 45 and cash posted speed limit. You can know that this is different. We add two side walkers. I know that. Two side, two side workers. Five of medium side workers is uh, about uh, twelve feet. Now we should clear zones. The clear zones is minimum is twenty four feet. This typical cross section is for two lane undivided roadway with curb and gato, bicycle lanes and sidewalks. Bicycle lane is five feet on two sides. And the minimum sidewalks is, is ten feet. Ten feet. Got a curb and a gutter. Where is the curb and gutter? Where is curb, curb and gutter? Yes. Curb. And gato. So the roadway is with curb and gato. Two feet. Two feet. This typical cross section for today on the right in the roadway is curb and gato, bicycle, one street parking, and sideway is 25 to 45, and the exposed is being needed. Now, there is added on speed parking. On the two sides of the road, we added to parking 
meaning. Lucky names is the name, the widest is uh, eight feet. feet. So the right of way, the widest, the right of way of the road is uh, minimum mm -hmm. is eight five feet. <laughs> because we add two to parking. From this, we can learn the typical first sections for four-lane railway with a two-way left turn lane, covered battle and sidewalk with 35 to 45 to get positive speed limit. The two-way left turn lane. They are divided, but these are undivided roadway. So, the right of way, the minimum is 100 feet. So, two, name, left and right, name. So, it's uh, Larger the right of way on the road is larger. On this, we can adapt the typical cross section for six nine divided roadway with thin the shoulders and a complete medium barrier with uh, 50 to 50. 25 to 70 MPH positive speed limit. Freeway. This cross sections is mostly for freeway. But the right of way, the minimum right of way is uh, 200 feet. There are six lanes and the post. The pair the pair of the shoulders is uh, twelve feet. But for many freeways in in China, there were four lanes divided the road roadway. But uh, in recent years the freeway constructed is uh, Six lane divided railway. There was according to the traffic volume and the capacity to construct it. Now the, the median is a large median and complete. Multiple curve. Families. Three general categories of families can be used to share motorists from hundreds of obstacles. Flexible, semi grid semi rigid and uh, rigid members. The three categories. Generally, more flexible members are able to absorb more of the impact of the conditions, thereby transferring lower levels of the force on the impact to the occupants. However, Flexible barriers require wider areas to allow for maximum deflection. Because it's flexible, so wider areas to allow for maximum deflection. Barriers should, should be installed as far from the edge the of the travel lanes as possible to rely on the advantages of shoulders and minimize 
the effect on traffic operations. From a fixed object near traveling vehicles, an end treatment of gadgets must be special, specially designed to absorb impact forces for vehicles that drive strike the end of the guardrail. Properly designed and treatment can be can reduce. Occurrence of guardrails, building, lodging, and puncturing, puncturing the vehicle. So we can end treatment. Just in, from this picture, we can know that the uh, fixed, fixed flexible barrier switch green cap cable. One, two, three. Three string cable and very flexible barrier. Double beam means weak steel post. In China, this type of uh, barrier is used mostly. Yeah. Flexible barrier. WD in Chinese Bo Xi is like the wall Bona Bo Xi Ba Bo Xi Ba the Bona the Xi Ba a semi a semi rigid barrel WB with steel post and wood block a rigid barrier, complete, complete barrier. But in Mula Dawkins, in recent years, the railway construct constructed is you is using the. Really very much. Mm -hmm. Why? Can you tell me? It's much more safer. Much more safer? Yeah. Too much speed. Too many cars? It's cheaper. It's cheaper. It's much cheaper. Of course. Uh, in uh, five or ten years ago, there are many accidents. Yeah. Many accidents with this flexible the WB. WB yeah. flexible barrier. Ooh, when but uh, but for bus, when the, the, the speed is. Uh, 100 or 120, it can go through the other side of the road. So, accident is serious. So, in recent years, we used rigid camera can be for the media. This baby is a lesson book. Now we can use this to as parents. Clear zone. <coughs> clear zone. The clear zone is an important feature of the roadside environment that improves a driver's ability to control and recover their rent vehicle. The clear road zone is an area adjacent to the edge of pavement. It's trans transversible and unobstructed and varies in widest depending on the design, slope, and the risk of collision. Step 2. Depending on design speed, slope, 
and risk of collisions. Now, from this, thing, from this picture, we can know that camera lay shoulder, full, silk, and back silk, and the roadside area is from the edge of the shoulder to the back silk. We have three recovery, recovery soup. Crystal soup, soup in between non recovery soup. What is recovery the soup?
for delivery to appropriate the drainage systems. So we can know that the drainage channels is to collect the storm water runoff from the roadway and the roadside regions to deliver to appropriate drainage systems. There are two kinds of drainage channel, a mark of rust, a rust of radio. The drainage channel okay, can, can increase. There are V-shape, rounded and chamber dodio. There is for uh, abrupt or radial is the virus is different. When the virus is less than 8 feet is for rounded genetic channel is belong to abrupt touch. But for not the only to 8 feet is radial and this is for table to thirty or four feet, four feet. Genie channel dimensions by categories for four third is one four a maximum speed steepness of back back slope for abrupt abrupt slope changes is one six. <coughs> and next is for granular slope level is one four. So for different uh, four slopes, we can know that for different maximum different stiffness for a rough slope or gradual slope is different. We can according to this table to determine the back slope. Now, uh, in intersection design. Some general guide guidance for intersection design include the distance or spacing between consecutive intersections can be used to facilitate the better quality of service for long more motorized users with shorter distances. Alternatively, longer distances with better progression for coordinated signal systems benefit motorized users. And the local, the local of uh, the location, the location of an intersection in relation to the horizontal and vertical alignment should target its street and the flat areas to exist as possible. Horizontal and vertical curves near intersections can be street the amount of available side distance. Then driver need to react to traffic control devices and other vehicles. Super elevate to horizontal curves through an intersection can create difficulties for turning or crossing vehicles. A perpendicular angle is the ideal angle between interse intersection roadway. However, site restrictions may require a screwed intersections. Screwed intersections can increase delay, collection, collisions, and the infrastructure costs. 
When possible, angles should differ by less than 30 degrees from perpendicular for intersections of extensive screw. It is possible to use this construction as you mean bigger to improve the angle. When the angle is not perpendicular or is we can exclude the intersection, we can give up used to the construction. Now, this is an example to read and align operations for screw intersections. From this two, to load existing roadway, we can realign the roadway like this. And uh, use this realign the roadway, you can use different ways to realign. So this is why we we are talking about the next part intersection design. Okay? okay. Speed of the major road in miles per hour 
and the TG. Time gap necessary for the vehicle mm -hmm. stop on the minor road to turn right on the major road in seconds. We can see from this table. We should know that one point four seven. One point four seven is equal. But the V major and T G when T G is different we we see from table what point one four. The size triangle approach next time. Again for the control minor load right or through movement. The design vehicle is the same three categories. The stack for single unit truck. The base time gap is 8.5. But for the sublet supplement to time gap for the growth rate is 0.1 second for each additional percent. But for left, this is 0. 0.2% second for additional percent. And minor row person is V major and TG. So for different cases, for different cases, B, 1, 2, 3, just like TG is different. The gap naturally for the vehicle stopped on the window to is just to see this table for mm -hmm. <coughs> Adjustment should be made to increase the base time gap when additional lanes must be crossed. The median is not wide enough to allow for a vehicle storage in the multi stage closet and or when the approach really exists in an upgrade of 3%. <coughs> we can see that this is single unit truck is 8 for 8.5 8 is to see but for the extra lanes to across our major road is 0 0.7 second it's uh, larger than left yes. or right if the meter is narrow and the approach width is 0 0.1 second for each additional set, but this is the extra length to across on major load. So you can know the, v, the TG is different. It's according to different kinds of uh, this minor road crossing or left or right this is an example we should not talk about about this uh, in this class and there are other his C D E F are you uh, uh, read or study the up class. Interchange design. Interchange designs are great separated intersections of roads and use structures to separate conflicting streams of traffic. Connections between the roads are made possible with the use of ramps and or loops, ramps or loops, <coughs> interchanges eliminate the need for angled instructions on freeways, which improve safety performance and increase capacity. Interchanges can also be implemented on roadways with a full access control to simply, simply improve operations. 
or the interchanges or significant advantages. There are also expensive and can degrade the overall system performance if not designed and implemented properly because they are the source and the destination of traffic. Interchange time. As we intersections left the turning traffic movements are the most challenge to accommodate at interchanges. Right turning movements typically allow direct free flowing maneuver. Through movements are handled with, are handled with structure to separate the dog conflicting traffic streams and interchanges between freeways or other full access control facilities. A directional, a directional interchange offers the highest level of service by direct, directing, directly serving all movements with minimal, minimal or no reduction Reductions in speed. So this is the highest level of service of directional interchange. Now we are see next. This is the directional three leg interchanges. We can when we drive cars to through these interchanges we should be careful yes. if we missed <laughs> <laughs> you can <can't> be <laughs> you get lost you get lost uh, to a five floor interchanges in Chongqing, five, and the there is five loads is interchanging. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. <laughs> so you've been writing the wrong thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. When the <laughs> when someone in these interchanges, the navigation needs to not work. Working on oh, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. <laughs> No going back. First, yes, first. you have to stop <laughs> and think. think yeah. Yes, yeah. I have to so, stop and think. So we should know <laughs> this. How to turn right or turn left? Yeah. <coughs> okay, do that when we go through this in this direction, we are use this left to turn left. Yeah. But turn right, use this road. Oh yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. But when we go through this, this road in from there, we should use this neck to mm. turn mm. Right, right and use this to turn left. Yes. Mm. So this is a <coughs> direction of three leg interchange. There is interchange with directional ramps from one roadway. We can go go to there. We can use this road to turn uh, turn right and use this to turn left. But this is one. There is two roads. Directional T interchanges. Ah, this is a. Uh, we can see clearly how to drive past from this. But this way we can turn left. We can from this road to no. this road. So it's directional T interchanges.
It's genius with the Russian metals from both one woman and two metals. Records. We should know how to use this to turn white right. and this to
can choose we can well from this picture we can know that how many complete points in this area. Just uh, through these two um, right and left, to this to turn right and left, to this to right, to through and left. So there is uh, many complete points in this area. Single point. Exchange, we have done and exchange. Single point requires a large and more com complex bridge structure. Just like this bridge. Increased uh, construction costs related to the diamond interchange. Most commonly used in a Urban areas with restricted right of way, a single point urban interchange is known as SP line. But more efficient perspective is heavy left volumes. The chunked interchange. Yes? Just like jumping. Okay, when we go through this way, we can use this to left. Mm. And this one will take that one. And we can use this. When go through this way, we can use this to turn right, right. but not to turn right, turn left, mm -hmm. not left. Yeah. So, this is the champion interchange. This partial normally interchange. This is to look, mm -hmm. look left. We can use this to turn left and to this to turn, uh, turn right and turn left. And you, when we go through this, when you turn right, turn left. But when we go through this, when you use this to turn right, right. Not to left. We can go through this to this way. Yes or no? no. This clever leaf interchanges create weaving segments because of the interchange, interweaving, entering and exit traffic streams, which can disrupt all traffic. Operations and section. So when we go through this, mm -hmm. or go through this, mm -hmm. we will, in this area, we have to stop all the traffic operations in the city. This is a uh, four global, four loop members. It's the global uh, interchange. Interchange is basic. Entering an existing cafe can significantly disrupt the traffic on the roadway to improve the flow of traffic uh, of the through traffic. Entering traffic can be restricted with operating operate, operational features such as web metering. The decision of where to install exchanges and how many to install should concede the balance of mobility and access is considered the balance of mobility and access is to decision 
Well, to install eight changes, and uh, how many to install? Additional access points from my drivers in the local area with additional and the multiply option to access the roadway path through Tempe may be negatively affected by the disruption caused by merging and non-merging Tempe. Therefore, the spacing between interchanges should be as large as practical while still serving traffic needs. So this we should concede. A minimum interchange spacing is in the urban area is one mile. And in rural area, rural, rural areas is two miles. Okay. So in the general advantages of uh, additional interchanges include ability to serve higher traffic volumes than a single interchange, particularly if large traffic generators can utilize multiple interchanges, less travel time spent on other local ways, which leads to lower traffic volumes and higher level of service on the adjacent roadway network. General increase in convenience for drivers. Additional commercial develop development opportunities for them in the vicinity of the interchange. Increase the system redundancy which can benefit the network if the routing of cafe is necessary during the emergency, construction, reconstruction, collision, or other disruptive event. Disadvantage. Merging and diversion cafe degrades the operation of the roadway, including the capacity and the safety. Additional construction and use of land can negatively impact the environment. The farms used for the additional exchange may have a large benefit for other uses. So this is the additional exchanges, disadvantage and uh, advantages. Vertical separation over and under. The type of vertical separation, whether the major road goes under or over the post road, is a major design element of interchange. The topography is generally the driving factor, but the road alignment may also influence the type of vertical separation. An overpass, the major roadway over the cross road offers. The disadvantage of a short structural stance on the bridge, the emission, emission of any height restrictions for the major roadway, emission of the any height restrictions. Improved drainage for the major roadway and fewer construction interruptions to the cross road. So this is over and uh, under the cross road. Ramp design. Rampers for right turning vehicles generally provide direct turning change the person road and change with the minimum channel distance. So what? Turning is all mostly short. Larger radio allows for higher speeds, which are necessary for directional interchanges. Left turning vehicles can be of 
accommodate the fire to make the vector with the use of traffic control devices and the conflicting roadways. All is the construction of flyovers or loop networks. Flyovers and loop networks are more expensive to construct but offer additional capacity to the interchange. Loop methods typically have relatively low design speeds with longer travel distances and a larger right of way requirements. The minimum distances between consecutive methods depends on the type of ramp and the facility. On the standard three-way segment, the minimum recommended distance between an least ramp and an extension ramp is 500 feet. On the standard three segment is 500 feet and for two consecutive entrance or in least ramps. The minimum recommended spacing is 1,000 feet. So we should know the ramp design and the right turning or left turning. That's all. Last over. 